Wiki, 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 wiki. So, all right. I just wanted to make a quick little announcement vid here. As you can see, we got some, uh, <laughs> some VSC view changes. There was an update recently posted. This is the utility that I use to show my controller on my gameplay vids, really on all of my vids. It's all right. But the big thing, aside from cat paws, let me go to my, my theme here, is we now have much better gyro tracking. And for my theme, I gave it this little gyro symbol. Now, that was actually a reason in previous versions that I, I actually was not even using the gyro tracking. Let me show you if I go to the default. So this, the version on the, the smaller controller on the left is the gyro tracking. The one on the right is accelerometer tracking. So the one on the right is only like jerking movements once the controller senses that the accelerometer is triggering. Now the problem was, was this one on the left would often get like that from even like a default position. It just, the tracking would start to get thrown off and it wasn't calibrating. So what's going on is, well, I have no idea what's going on because I'm a moron. This is all way beyond me. But thankfully, we've got Wombat from Hell kind of made it his mission. Now, he didn't make this utility. This was from Nilk, Nilk1. But yeah, Wombat dug in here and was really figuring out that gyro. He was working on that for a while. So actually, like, okay, um, right here is my default position. If I just hold here, you look at that gyro on the left, give it a second, give it a second. There, it just, it recalibrated. So I'm kind of holding it up in my hand. Now, if I sit it down on the table, that's down on my table and I leave it there for a second, it's going to recalibrate there. But it's really, it's the, uh, it's not just that calibration. It's tracking it better while, you know, throughout the whole thing. It's tracking it a lot better now. So I can ditch. So what I did for my theme was I ditched. Ditched the accelerometer and instead went just with the gyro. I don't really want both, but you can have both. Yeah, I mean, you can have both there. I would rather just have one. So I went with the gyro because the gyro is clearly what I had wanted to be showing. It just, I was kind of frustrated with the way it previously had tracked that. So that's the under the hood performance, but then also something that's kind of exciting is now there's um my older theme. My newer one, which you can also you know select what you want. This one has a darker black outline and this gyro symbol. The default with cat paws and 8-bit Cerberus's. It's a nice white one. So that's cool. Yeah, and he even, he even put us in there. Oh. So that's that. Let's go back to... Yeah, I kind of... I, well, I mean, clearly... Because it's mine and the newest I did. I like this little gyro symbol. So anyways, I just wanted to make a little announcement about that. It's running much better. No longer need to download my theme separately or 8-bit Cerberus's. They're integrated right in there. Now, to actually get this showing like that, that requires OBS. So let me hop over into OBS and show you what I got going on. In OBS, you want to have your, uh, you know, I got my monitor capture. VSC view, that is a window capture. So just click on the plus sign, window capture. I'm just gonna click in here to show you. For window capture, select VSC view. 
just make sure it's on top of your game and monitor. Filters. So if I take take that off, yeah, it's just once you first select it, it's going to show up as a big green block. So either use chroma key or color key. That's really up to you. Chroma, just be aware that chroma key on the defaults is it's a little too sensitive for my taste. It's erasing the trigger outline. You can even see that if I switch over. Like those trigger outlines are just gone. But if I go to my tweaked color key, you can see them. So that is more of just a preference kind of thing. But I had tweaked all of this for my particular theme. So that's really up to you. And you could use Chrome. I mean, you don't have to use color key. You can use chroma key. You might just want to you know, get it. Uh, yeah, you'd want to fiddle around. I just personally found yeah like that is blocking out the color it's making it gray I had just kind of gotten it dialed in right where I wanted it with that color key and then if you want you could go to color correction just add another filter. You know, then you could make it. Which I would I would probably do this if I was using like the default or 8-bits theme. Which was kind of why I specifically made mine an outline. Just so you could see through it and it wasn't taking up. Like I could make the controller kind of big on the screen. You can still see behind it. But that's pretty much it. That's how you get it into OBS. But really, that is just kind of some extra credit bonus material showing you how to get it in here. Really, I just wanted to make a little vid here to show, you know, just to make you aware, if you didn't already know, that there is a new version out. It's tracking the gyro a lot better it's making it a little easier when you start it up you're not having to select the controller you know everything it's it's been improved it's been quite a while since this has been updated so bam yeah this has made my life a lot easier because i used to i used to set up a green screen with a webcam and well it wasn't a green screen i would have to like levitate my hands over a green board and try to get the lighting and the shadow reduction correct just so, so I could show the controller which did look pretty cool and I liked you know being able to show off that custom airbrush controller that I have from colored controllers but yeah it was just it was tedious to do that every single time I wanted to record so this this makes it so much easier. I can just pop in and start recording stuff and have my controller showing you everything that I'm doing. So, all right, that is all I got. I will see you around. And bonus little trivia as I leave. This is actually the third version of this that I recorded. So if you thought this one was rambly, holy hell, you should have heard the other ones.